So many areas of the city were overwhelmed with water following last week's heavy thunderstorm. But instead of ending up in people's homes in one neighborhood, the water was collected in a green space. The Pontilly Neighborhood Stormwater Network Project was built to reduce flood risk and beautify green spaces in the Pontchartrain Park and Gentilly Woods neighborhoods. Paul Dudley has more from Mayor LaToya Cantrell's Deputy Chief Administrative Officer for Infrastructure, Ramsey Green. So tell us about this project. Is it working? It, did we see it work uh, in Wednesday's storms? Um, you know, it, it partially did. And the reason for that is it's not even ready to be done uh, until October. So um, really what you saw, it's a $15 million um, project that extends from Stephen Girard Avenue to Southern University in New Orleans. Some of the most prominent features of it are at the Joe Bartholomew Golf Course. And what we saw is the rain rains, you know, and there was flooding in the neighborhood, but there was also ponds or bioswales, as we call them, that filled up with water and they remained filled up with water for some period of time, less than 24 hours from what I've heard anecdotally. And that water did not stay in the street. It did not go into people's homes. It was in a green space. It was in a golf course exactly where you want floodwaters to go. The, the project is designed to hold um, around 9 million gallons of stormwater and reduce flooding as much as 14 inches during a 10 year uh, flood event. And we get 10 year flood events, you know, more and more often in this city. We had a, a massive rain event that Wednesday, somewhere between four and five inches within two hours, which will overwhelm uh, mostly any system in the country, which is why we're so focused uh, on putting this money to work. Um, to get projects like this built. And you saw that on the streets of Pontilly um, in, the, in the, the moments after this storm. And, and we aren't the only ones who have noticed that the project appears to be working here. Actor Wendell Pierce tweeted out, Eureka, it works. Pontchartrain Park has returned to its green glory. I think he was concerned maybe at first about some pooling of the water, but that's supposed to happen and it, it seems like it's all gone down now. Yeah, big thank you to uh, Mr. Pierce for uh, for putting that out on social media. It was pretty exciting for our team to see. Um, and our, our engineer, Megan Williams, who runs that project, um, you know, it was pretty exciting to see a, a local a local star. He walked out there and I actually talked to him about it. He walked out, he looked at the water and he was trying to figure it out. And he said he was a bit of a doubter when we started the community engagement process on this and the design process. But um, he came around uh, on Wednesday, which is pretty exciting. And you said that there's $300 million worth of projects in the pipeline for this. So I imagine we're going to see a lot more projects like this in the future. You're seeing them now. You're seeing you're seeing um, the St. Rock Avenue area. We've got Gentilly is a is a big place. We've got Mirabu kicking off this summer. Um, we have tens of millions of gallons uh, to be held in City Park, and that project is in design right now. And I'd really encourage folks to go on the website, Every Drop Matters, which is where you can learn about resources to do on your own property. And you can also go on the city's resilience page and learn about every one of these projects uh, that is out there within that $300 million uh, portfolio. All right, Ramsey Green there with some great information. Thank you so much. Appreciate your time. Thanks a lot, Paul. You can learn more at everydropnola.com or at nola.gov slash resilience dash sustainability.